Hola, my name is Lenore Cadena and I teach anthropology at Fullerton College. Now that the pandemic is hopefully coming to an end with a vaccine, I wonder where would you be going first in the world? Well, for me, it's an easy answer, España, the mother culture to many of us Latinos. Spain is a beautiful country and it's one of the first countries I visited when I went to Europe, not to mention that is where some of my ancestors come from. Spain is renowned for its art, its history, its multiple mixture of cultures and the delicious food. I am very fortunate to be teaching, along with the business department, anthropology courses in Sevilla in Spain. So you may be wondering, why Seville? Well, Sevilla itself is one of the most important cities in Spain. It is absolutely beautiful. It's the most important city in Andalusia, and it has some really interesting sites where anthropology exists in very unique ways. For example, I'll be teaching Magic, Witchcraft, and Religion, a course that really explores the anthropology of religion. So we'll be visiting the third largest cathedral in Europe the Catedral of Sevilla that contains the burial place of Christopher Columbus, along with the four most important kingdoms that unified Spain in 1401. Today, Sevilla has about 700,000 people and it has a mixture of many multicultural aspects. Of course, you can't talk about Sevilla without talking about flamenco, one of my favorite dances. Flamenco is a dance that also incorporates many cultures. It is believed that the songs of flamenco are coming or emerging from a Muslim call to prayer. And we see definitely a lot of passion and a lot of art mixed in this beautiful dance. We will be visiting the Plaza Nueva that contains the Archaeology Museum. So think about learning archaeology where you're actually in Spain visiting the actual ruins, some of the Roman ruins that continue to uh, leave a legacy throughout Spain. We will be visiting La Feria in April during our spring break. And La Feria is a fair in which we see a mixture of a lot of the Spanish culture. We definitely see flamenco come alive as you have people come together and set up their tents, set up their horses, their flamenco gear, and some of these casetas or our family owned or tents where people come together and practice flamenco in a very unique way that you cannot find anywhere else. Sevilla itself has a lot of legacy from the Moors that occupied in 711 uh, and they ruled until 1248. But you still can see a lot of the cultural legacies both of Moors as well as Jewish. One of my favorite, of course, is the Alcazar, is the royal palace that the king and queen Isabella use as their palace. And we're going to be learning about archaeology while looking at the beautiful architecture and the mixture of cultures between both the Moors and the Catholic Spanish. We're also going to visit another cultural center, which is the Barrio de Santa Cruz, that used to be the Jewish quarters prior to the Spanish Inquisition. Again, going back to the anthropology of religion, we're going to see the impact the Inquisition had on many of these cultural groups. And of course, La Plaza de Toros, which is where the Spain continues to have the controversial bullfights. We're going to visit the museum and we're going to learn about the controversy surrounding bullfights. In terms of, the, of religion, Sevilla is a very unique site in which they have their Virgin of Macarena, which is the patron virgin of the site. They have the Basilica honoring this beautiful virgin. And during, during Semana Santa, they have a huge pilgrimage honoring the virgin. On the outskirts, we'll visit some of the Pueblos Blancos or white towns. One of them that's very unique is the Arcos de la Frontera. And one of the keys of these towns is to understand the role they play during the time of the fight uh, of trying to get the Moors out of Spain. So they were key to recovering the border towns or frontera, which means border, during the 13th century and really keeping the Moors out. In anthropology, we focus a lot on history, especially in archeology. span So we're gonna see what key role it played to have control over those regions. Also the way that we can still see religion very much alive. In some of the churches there, for example, they have a magic circle that was believed to be practicing exorcism during that time. We have a lot of very exciting field trips to Portugal, which is within driving distance from Seville. Absolutely be beautiful beaches and beautiful, beautiful sights. We're also planning a trip to Gibraltar. 
which is a United Kingdom territory, Gibraltar will bring some of the concepts of physical anthropology alive. We're gonna be looking at primates. And in Gibraltar, there are believed to be over 200 apes of Gibraltar, which are really macaque monkeys. There's a myth that as long as the monkeys are there, the British will be there. We may have the opportunity to climb up the Gibraltar rock and have beautiful views of the area. So as you can see, I'm very, very excited about this and I hope you can join us in this very amazing adventure.